Our friends at DJI were kind enough to let us do a teardown of the DJI Mini 2SE drone. And so this drone is really lightweight. It weighs less than 249 grams, but it is able to fly for 31 minutes, has 2.7K video, and it can transmit video up to 10 kilometers. So let's open this up. But in the box, what I want to note first is this really neat packaging design. So the DJI packaging team has chosen to use molded inserts to hold the drone in place. And as a mechanical engineer, I always appreciate things like that because it's a smart way to cut down on using a lot of non-renewable resources. First of all, let's open up the drone. So it's really lightweight, as I said, and um, it looks like it's made of some nice injection molded materials and yeah, it's got a nice body design. So I'm excited to tear that down. Let's see what else you've got in the box. So we have another nice uh, molded insert that seems to be made of some recyclable materials. So that's super nice. And the bottom has a good texture and the top is smooth. And then you can also see that there's another molded insert in there. So first of all, I want to talk about the controller. So this controller is a slightly different shade of gray than the uh, drone itself. So I'm not sure why that is, but it's neat. And it seems to be a few injection molded pieces put together. Um, there's a USB-C port on the bottom. And then we have these, it's probably my most favorite feature, these knobs that are tucked away inside their own little storage compartments on the remote. The controller has a lot of soft touch materials and hard materials with varying textures. So it actually feels really nice in your hands. So here's the drone. So we have a very lightweight body with four propeller arms and eight propeller blades. Um, I think the a neat thing to note is that the front of it looks kind of like a shark up here. It's kind of like a shark's face. So that's cute. Um, so yeah, let's open up these propeller blades. So these just kind of slide up freely and then it looks like these pivot. So that's cool. Let's actually try removing some of those blades. So I'm curious to see how easy they come off. The screw has kind of like the cylindrical um, shank with a threaded shank that's a different diameter beneath it. So let me just quickly remove all the rest of the propeller blades. So now that we've freed these um, bearings, you can see them here a little bit better. So you can see the copper windings on them and they're pretty neat. Okay, so I think the next thing I'm going to take off is the camera cover. So it looks like there's a cover on the camera and it's just kind of hanging out there uh, and it can turn with many degrees of freedom. I'm not going to count them a lot, but <laughs> it definitely has a pretty interesting assembly. And this looks like a translucent injection molded part with some snap fits and some built in hinges. This looks to be some sort of circuit board in here um, for the controls, I'm guessing. Let's go and take out the battery. Looks like this top part and bottom part come apart. This is just a cover for the circuit board. And this material is like really goopy and sticky. I'm playing it now. So yeah, I scraped some of it off <laughs> just for fun, but it's still like wet. So I don't know if this is an insulator material or if it is thermally conductive or what, but it looks like it's been strategically placed throughout here. And uh, the electronics aren't our main um, focus, but you can see that there were two gray wires that I severed. Here's the one and here's the other. So we'll see, trace those and see where they went to. And so this is an injection molded component, you can tell. Um, and it looks like each of the four drone arms are attached down here. So it looks like there are a lot of snap fits on this top cover. Um, so it might take some finagling to figure out where these snap fits are <laughs> and how to get them off. Okay, Whoa. So 
We finally got that free. <laughs> and this is the um, bottom cover. So this is also injection molded and it has a little battery door that I can pop out now that I can see where the hinges are. Here's the battery door. It has um, a hinge or a set of hinges and then a snap fit. So that's how it's held together over the battery. So I'm gonna put that with our battery. The top cover has this copper conductive tape on it. And now it looks like perhaps free some of um, these wires, maybe. It looks like it's also connected by these really cool kind of um, elastomer type fasteners. So I'm going to pull those out. Oh, okay. So yeah, we really nicely pulled out, well, for the most part, pulled out the camera and um, this is the full assembly. So it has some injection molded frame that it kind of sits on. There's a few more electronics down in here that I'm not going to take apart, but, um, and there's some snaps or some wire guides in here for the wires to go into. Um, but what I really like the most is this cool kind of vibration resistant, um, flexible attachment design. So there's four of those points and this is an elastomer material, so. That is actually pretty neat. There's this frame that is attached to the circuit board, and this is on the underside or on the um, top side of our drone, actually. And so this frame is held on, and one of them is getting loose, but by these little springy type of elastomer attachments. Oh, there we go. Okay, I pulled them off in the wrong direction, but that's okay. Three of them stayed on. It's this frame, so this is pretty neat and they're super springy. So I'm sure that that helps to stabilize the camera and the circuit board. So next I am going to sever these wires, oh, these wires, they go to the drone arms. So let me pull those So the board is out, and this looks to be probably the brains of the operation, um, powering to each of the drone arms. So that's where we actually severed um, those from. And then, so we have the frame here. Um, you can see it's all injection molded, and it appears to be one piece. So this is the main frame for the circuit boards and everything to sit on. Um, let's pivot and get our drone arms off. Okay, so, oh, well that comes off pretty easily. Okay, <laughs> so let me pop these back to you. Drone arms off. It's got like a plastic base with a metal, shaft going out of the center of the plastic base. Three screws securing it, securing it in place. Okay, pull this out too. And then we can talk through all of these assembly features. Okay, so let's tear down one of these drone arms. On each of the drum arms, there is this protective film on the, um, so it'd be the underside. <laughs> okay, so here is also the tracing of our gray wire we cut earlier from this board. It looks like all the wires feed through in and to this assembly, perhaps. The wires are kind of like adhered to the copper coils in here. I don't think I can get this to come apart further, but I could try. So yeah, and the uh, the outside cylindrical metal body um, rest around these kind of rectangular surfaces that have like alternating red and blue paint on them for whatever reason, not sure what that is. Um, so this was maybe CNC machined or formed 
uh, this top part and then this bottom part was probably machined. Um, and it looks like there's a shaft that goes through the entire body that was probably machined and it's attached and then these copper windings are put in and the wires from the um, drone arms are fed in to here. Okay, so let's take a look at our drone arm again. Uh, the gray wire that we traced back to this circuit board with the sticky residue on it uh, feeds into there. It looks like it goes down to the edge. So let's see what this little protrusion down here does. Everything's covered, you can't really see much, but that's where the gray wire leads. So like I said, I think that's some type of sensor for it. Um, and then that's what the inside looks like. So there is another drawer on here, maybe. I don't know if I can get it off now. To remove the adhesive foam from this one. So there's also three screws holding this bearing assembly. Let's feed these through. Okay. And so they have some electrical tape in the middle. I'm not sure if they join two wires or something, but. Um, this one looks very similar to the other kind of wire uh, propeller end assembly. So now I just want to kind of walk you through some of the features of some of the parts here that we disassembled. And so we have our main frame body. Um, we looked at this before, but basically you have a lot of snap fits and a lot of press fits throughout. Um, on both sides, you can see even down here, you have a lot of press fits and snap fits and threaded holes as well. Um, this is a really good, robust design. It was really challenging to get it apart. <laughs> so it's sturdy and it holds up well to vibration. So good job to the DJI engineers. Uh, here is the battery door. And so this actually just holds in tension. Hinges here on this end that kind of destroyed and then two snap fits here. Um, the battery, I'm not going to tear that apart. <laughs> I, yeah. Uh, so we have just one um, fit here, press fit here, that actually, or snap fit here, that actually just cantilevers in and holds the battery in place. And then we also have this um, connector back here. Whoops. Uh, so this one, I kind of destroyed a little bit too, ripped some of the screws out. Uh, but this cover is also injection molded and contains many snap and press fits. Um, we already looked at these boards. This board is kind of the main processor, I would imagine, with a ribbon going to the bottom circuit board. And then we have the top um, cover as well, top enclosure. And so we kind of walked through that one, but this has a series of press fits that go into the frame here and snap fits as well. Um, and then we have this camera cover, so this fit you know, right over the camera to protect it, I'm sure, um, in transportation. So it's a translucent injection molded material, so you can still see through and see your camera in there, but it's nicely made and it just works in tension too. So we have these different connections here with the snap fits um, to hold it in place. And then this frame we kind of talked about, this is injection molded as well. You could 3D print this though. Um, many of these parts could be 3D printed, you know, if you're prototyping or even with some of the newer 3D printing technologies, it's actually affordable to mass produce some of these 3D printed parts um, with lower mass production volumes. So it just depends. Uh, so these are injection molded as well. And then we have some of our components, which were likely CNC machined here. So that's it. So thank you for watching our teardown and for all of your CNC machining, injection molding, 3D printing, urethane casting, sheet metal needs, Fictive is happy to help. Contact one of our experts today.